Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, just like it says on the hat, and thanks for dropping in for a Ham Shack chat where I'm going to show you 20 different VHF, UHF mobile ham radio rigs that are currently available in 2022. I've broken these rigs down into three segments. The first being the mono banders, then the dual banders, and finally, the rigs with a lot of bells and whistles, such as APRS and digital voice. All of these rigs have multiple memory channels where you can program repeater transmit and receive frequencies, access codes, and so on. All of them can be programmed by hand, and most of them have an associated RT Systems radio programming software available for an additional cost. Within each one of these segments, the rigs are listed in order of the average price found online uh, from lowest to highest. At the very end, I'm going to give you a brief description of a new rig on the market that may be of interest to some of you. So that's a total of 21 radios. So without further ado, Let's take a look at our monoband mobile radios. The Yaesu FTM3100R is a ruggedly built, yet compact, 2 meter FM mobile transceiver, uh, providing high output power of up to 65 watts. One of the distinguishing features of this new mobile transceiver is the front panel speaker, uh, which delivers three watts of good, clear audio. It has 220 alphanumeric memories, CTCSS and DCS encode, decode, and severe weather alert. It's available at HRO, DX Engineering, and Gigaparts for $149.95. The Elenco DR135T Mark III is a 2 meter FM rig with 50 watts of output power. It features 100 memory channels, CTCSS, DCS encode, decode, uh, DTMF encode. It has a front panel data port and a rear panel D sub 9 size uh, computer connection and is available at an average cost of $178.90 with the best price of $174.95 from Ham Radio Outlet. The Yaesu FT2980 has 80 watts of output power. It provides 221 channels with CTCSS and DCS encoding. Weather channels and severe weather alerts, it's available for $195.95 from HRO, DX Engineering, or Gigaparts. The ICOM IC2300H 2 meter FM mobile rig has an output power of 65 watts and 270 memory channels with CTCSS and DCS encoding decoding and weather channel receive and weather alert. It's available for $199.95 from HRO, DX Engineering or Gigaparts. The ICOM ICV3500 2 meter FM mobile rig also has an output of 65 watts and 270 memory channels with CTCSS and DCS encoding, decoding, and uh, of course weather channel receive and weather alert. It is available for $239.95 from HRO, DX Engineering, or Gigaparts. The Elenco DR06TA is a 6 meter FM mobile radio with an output of 50 watts. It features 100 memory channels with CTCSS, DCS uh, encode and decode, a DTMF encode. It has a front panel data port and a rear panel D sub 9 pin computer connection. It's available at an average cost of $256 with the best price of $249.95 from Ham Radio Outlet or DX Engineering. The Kenwood TM281A 
is a 2 meter FM mobile rig with an output of 65 watts. It has 201 memory channels including one call channel. As is normal, it has the uh, encoding and decoding for repeater access. It's available at DX Engineering for $274.95. Any of these rigs presented today can be used as a base station, but those with front-facing speakers are most useful. If you do decide to use a mobile rig as a base station, there are a few other things you'll need to pick up uh, and consider. Uh, starting with a power supply, and I recommend something in the 25 amp range, an external antenna and sufficient cable to reach between the rig and the antenna. Future videos will discuss all of these necessary extras, but for now, be aware of the additional cost. Now, let's move on to our no frills dual band mobile rig. Um, 2730A is an FM dual band rig providing 50 watts output on both the 2 meter and 70 centimeter bands. It is capable of full cross band repeat along with 1000 memory channels. The cost at HRO, DX Engineering and Gigaparts is $309.95. The Yaesu FTM6000R is an FM dual band mobile rig with 50 watts output on 2 meters and 70 centimeters. It has a wide receive range from 108 to nearly 1 gigahertz and it's available for $319.95 at HRO, uh, DX Engineering and Gigaparts. And by the way, Virtually all of the rest of the rigs have that same wide band uh, receive. The Elenco DR735T is an FM dual band rig with 50 watts out on both the 2 meter and 70 centimeter bands. Though it is not clear in the picture, the control head is removable. It has 1,000 memory channels available and costs $329.95 at Ham Radio Outlet, DX Engineering, and Gigaparts. The PowerWorks DB750 has a removable control head. It's a dual band FM 2 meter and 70 centimeter rig with 750 memories and 50 watts max output on 2 meters and 40 watts max output on the 70 centimeter band. It's available at HRO, Gigaparts, and the PowerWorks site for $349.95. Now you must use the PRG750 or the RPS DB750X USB a programming cable available from RT Systems. Uh, you need that to be able to initially unlock and program this radio before use so you need to include that in your cost and it should be around 30 bucks. The Kenwood TMV71A also has a removable and invertible control head and is an FM 2 meter and 70 centimeter mobile radio with 50 watts output on both VHF and UHF bands. It is crossband capable and has 1000 memory channels. It receives weather alerts and cost $467.95 at HRO and $469.95 at Gigaparts. That most of these rigs have removable control heads. While most of the times this is a convenience, it can also make it actually difficult to hear your radio's audio as you will probably want to put the main part of the rig out of the way. That's where the speaker is. The rig that I currently have in my car uh, has the control head on the dashboard and the rest of the rig stashed under my passenger seat. Well, that said, I strongly recommend that you pick up an external speaker and mount it where you can easily hear your audio. I'd also like to take a moment and point out that though I am giving you the cost at several specific online retailers, they are available at many outlets and the prices I'm showing may not be the best price out there. However, I believe uh, the costs that I provide are good in the ballpark and a good starting reference. Now, 
onto our set of rigs that begin to have bells and whistles uh, in addition to being multi-band molds. Isu FTM200DR is a 50-watt VHF and UHF dual-band FM mobile transceiver. It also offers the ASU System Fusion uh, C4 FM digital voice mode with automatic mode select that will switch your rig between FM and System Fusion depending on what is received. It has a built-in GPS receiver and automatic packet reporting system or APRS. It has 1,104 memory channels that in addition to repeater access info can be programmed with 16 character alphanumeric tags so that you can put a repeater call sign location and stuff like that in there just uh, so you know which repeater you're actually talking to. Uh, it's available at $379.95 at Ham Radio Outlet, DX Engineering, and Gigaparts. The Elenco DR-MD500T is a dual-band mobile rig with a maximum output of 55 watts on 2 meters and 40 watts on 70 centimeters. The modes are FM and DMR Tier 1 and Tier 2 digital voice. It includes cross-band capabilities and up to 4,000 memory channels. The cost is $379.95 at HRO and Gigaparts and $381.95 at DX Engineering. The Anytone DR-D578UV Pro is a 2 meter and 70 centimeter dual band FM and Tier 1, Tier 2 DMR digital voice rig. It runs 50 watts out on VHF and 45 watts out on UHF. It has a built-in GPS receiver and can operate DMR APRS and analog APRS. It also has Bluetooth included with certain car entertainment systems uh, connectivity. But, you know, check to see if your car radio is included. Uh, the cost is $399 at HRO and the best price is $394 at Gigaparts. The ICOM ID5100A is the current rig that's in my car. It has a grayscale touchscreen that provides access to all of the radio settings and controls. It's a dual band FM and D star digital voice providing 50 watts on two meters and 70 centimeters and 1000 memory channels. Uh, the internal uh, digital voice slash FM repeater list database uh, will assist you in accessing nearby repeaters even in areas that you're visiting for the first time. It has a built-in GPS and is currently available at DX Engineering for $439.95. The Elenco DRMD520T is the first tri-bander on our list providing 55 watts on 2 meters, 5 watts on the 1.25 meter band, and 40 watts on the 40 centimeter band. It's an FM and Tier 1, Tier 2 DMR digital voice radio with 4,000 memory channels. It also has GPS and APRS capabilities and cross-band repeat. It's available at HRO, DX Engineering, and Gigaparts, for $449.95. The other tri-bander on our list is the AT D578 UV3 with power outputs of 50 watts on 2 meters, 5 watts on 1.25 meters, and 45 watts on the 70 centimeter bands. It is an FM and DMR Tier 1 and Tier 2 mobile rig. It has internal GPS and both DMR and analog APRS. It has built-in Bluetooth that provides connectivity to many newer car entertainment systems along with an included Bluetooth push to talk button. It is available for $459.99 at DX Engineering and Gigaparts and for four cents less $459.95 at Ham Radio Outlet. See, I'm already saving you a few pennies.
The ASU FTM 300DR is a 50 watt FM and C4 FM digital voice dual band 2 meter and 70 centimeter mobile ring. It has full cross band capabilities with two independent receivers. Its display can be set to show a band scope amongst other settings and it has built-in Bluetooth for interfacing with car entertainment systems. The cost is $459.95 from HRO, DX Engineering, and Gigaparts. If you're interested in the Yesu System Fusion C4FM Digital Voice Mode, the FTM400DR might be the rig you've been waiting for. It offers three different flavors of C4FM which is simultaneous voice and data, full voice rate, and high-speed data. Of course, analog FM is also offered in this 2 meter and 70 centimeter dual band rig, all at 50 watts output. It has GPS, APRS, and Bluetooth included, and is fully cross-band capable. It's available at Ham Radio Outlet, DX Engineering, and Gigaparts, for $549.95. This is the most expensive rig on our list, but you get what you pay for. I was doing research for this video. And now for something completely different. I came across the Vero AGR VR N7500. It's a dual band with 50 watts out on two meter and 40 watts out on the 70 centimeter band. Now it has no display or any external controls. It instead uses a Bluetooth connection to your smartphone to provide your display and a bunch of other stuff. Right now, only the Android version is fully functional, but a limited iOS version is available with promises of updates to make it fully functional sometime in the future. The Bluetooth can connect to multiple devices at the same time, so you can connect your cell phone, Bluetooth speakers, intercom systems, and an intercom push to talk. It's available for $179.95 from Gigaparts, which makes it one of the least expensive rigs on this list. In a previous video, one of the comments was about the fit of the radio to the individual. The commenter noted that dockers are great pants, but if they don't fit, they're pretty much useless and thanks to Radioactive for the insight. In the same way, what's a great rig for one ham may range from useless to barely adequate for another. My goal was not to recommend any specific rig or manufacturer, but to provide you with a good idea of what's out there, what features and at what cost, and where you can pick one up for yourself. I've included links to each of the manufacturer's web pages and to the retailers mentioned. I included very basic information on each rig, so if you find yourself drawn to any given radio, it will be up to you to do some additional research and make sure it's right for you. Uh, check out the links in the video description. Talk to hams in your local club or the, your Elmer down the street and start leaving hints with your friends and family about potential birthday and holiday presents. If you're interested in any of the digital voice modes, find out what's available in your area first. I hope this has been interesting to you and helps you as a first step in getting your first mobile rig or upgrading uh, to a new mobile rig. If you enjoyed and learned something, please give me a like. By popping that thumbs up icon, please share. Beside me, Will, we shall share this glorious moment together. This with your compatriots and fellow travelers in this great hobby. And please leave a comment Say something. with your experiences with any of these rigs. 73 until the next. Hey, y'all. Thanks for dropping in for a Ham Shack chat. I'm Tom, ND3N. And I am out.